Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed. And in this video, I want to talk about um, clearing out remote PowerShell cache. Now, sometimes if you're working on a server and you're connecting to other Exchange servers, it records information on your machine. And I've seen it happen on 2016 and 2019 where you start running commands and you get these weird errors and you, once you clear the cache, errors are gone again. Now it's actually very easy to do. So first thing you want to do is uh, launch Explorer and you open up Windows or the C drive, go to Users. Now you'll see that um, I've enabled hidden files. Now how to do this, you just click on View and you tick this. You'll see if I do that, the files are gone files are back and I'm going to update uh, roaming Microsoft Exchange and there's remote PowerShell with the server. Now I can simply remove this, right? It's now sitting in my recycle bin. I'm going to get rid of it. Now I want to show you what happens when you basically launch the management shell again. So run as administrator. And you can see it's recreated it again for you. So this is new cache. So if I have to run uh, get mailbox, for example, I don't have any errors where before I used to get errors and it's pretty much a simple way of clearing out everything. Thank you very much for watching.